Oh, finally, I got the place to myself. Get a dive into my car and driver magazine. Oh, the new GTI. How nice is that? What's in this thing? Advertisement, advertisement. GTI, looks pretty nice. Very cool. What's this green thing? Descent into M8 Madness. Some leprechaun car. It looks, hey, this is like the new Mustang. But of course, this is not a Mustang. This is the 2020 BMW M8 Competition. What's shocking about this, besides the price, which is about $100,000 more than your highest end Mustang, is the fact that it does zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. You heard me right, 2.5 seconds. That is some crazy acceleration. It does zero to 106.3, quarter mile in 10.7 seconds. The, this is a pretty heavy car, so the handling at 1.03 Gs is still, is, 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 is pretty high, but it could have been higher if it was a lighter car, but consider how heavy it is. And there's some other stats for you, in case you're wondering. This is a beautiful car, but zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. That is what caught my attention to this beast. This thing looks like a Mustang. Probably doesn't sound like a Mustang, but it, if you've seen the high-end Mustang, the Shelby GT500, the highest end with all the options goes for $107,000. But the starting price is only $70,000. That thing looks like a race car. It does zero to 60 in 3.3 seconds. It does that with its 760 horsepower motor. Another uh, vehicle to compare it to is a Dodge Demon. That is like the mecca of acceleration. And it's not quite as fast. The Demon does zero to 60 in 2.1 seconds. And it gets there with its 840 horsepower supercharged motor. So what is propelling in this BMW that makes it go zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, you're probably wondering. I was wondering the same thing. And it's almost shocking. This thing uses really smart muscle. The displacement on this thing is really small. It's only 268 cubic inches, or inches. It's just really small compared to the giant motors that the Mustang and the Dodge is using. But it's using a twin turbo instead of a supercharger. And also, what really makes this thing take off like a rocket is it does, it does this with only 617 horsepower. But unlike the Mustang and the Dodge Challenger, this thing does it with all-wheel drive. The other two are just rear-wheel drive. So that makes a big difference. Traction. When you try and take off from 0 to 60, it's all about traction. And horsepower helps too. But they're using smart horsepower, smart motor, smart traction. And the car actually looks like it shouldn't go that fast. When you look at a, a Mustang or a Hellcat, you're like, dude, that thing looks like a race car. This thing doesn't look that way. This thing looks like you go to your, your nice favorite, favorite resort or country club and you look classy. It does it with class and style. That's what makes a BMW a BMW. But for a base price of $148,000, you kind of expect a lot. You can do a lot, but so it is a pretty impressive car. It's very impressive. Don't get me wrong. It's really nice, really classy, really smart, but it's a little on the pricey side. But you are getting a lot for it. You're definitely getting a car that's really, really fast. When I get it, well, this is totally out of my price range. It's just like a dream car to me. But if it was my money, I would go with the Acura NSX. Not exactly apples to apples, but if you're going to go for a really fast car, I want it to look kind of, I don't know, unique, standing out, and a little more, I don't know, sporty. I think the, uh, the BMW M8 is a great car, don't get me wrong, it just doesn't scream $175,000 for the one that we're looking at. 
and there's 147 base. It looks like a, I don't know, $90,000 car, but I'm sure most of that money is in a performance factor. So if you're into performance, you're into BMWs, you probably can't go wrong with this. But for me, my money, I go a little more flashy and and add a little more of that supercar look. And I really, really, really do like that Acura NXX. And it's about the same price. So that's where I would that's what I would do. What would you do? That's what I want to know. Make sure you put out a comment in the comment box and make sure you hit like and subscribe for more of my videos. Thanks again for watching Paul's Take. That's my take on the 2020 BMW M8 competition. Thanks again for watching Paul's Take.